Hi, my name's Marcus, and I'm also known as Link Steam. And I'm going to show you the basics of wiring, you know, an alternator, a PMA alternator, some really basic electrics, um, circuitry, and what the different components do. So if you know this stuff, you'll be bored. But if you don't know it, um, this will really help you through your projects. Looking for the other thing that's really important is when you wind your coils, of course, wind them all the same direction. Okay, they all have to be wound the same direction. And when you place them in to your stator, they all have to be oriented the same direction. Okay. Um, the reason is, as a north face magnet passes by a coil, it's going to induce electron flow in the wire, and the direction of the coil is going to dictate which way the um, uh, the peaks and the troughs are going to form in the AC. And if you get this coil and this coil basically out of phase, you're going to get zero voltage. They're going to they're going to negate each other. The electrons aren't going to know which way to go. They're going to be go this way, no, go this way, and they're going to end up just doing nothing. So very important you get each coil um, laid in here exactly the same way. Okay, and it's really not hard. You just have to look at it and make sure that your inside wires coming off the same direction. Okay, and then when I wire this, I make sure I've got my inside, inside, inside find my AC out and then I take my outside and I hook it to number three's inside and number three out is coming out on this side and I can wire this in star by simply tying these together or I can just have two AC outlets on an alternator like this and there's there's reasons why you would do either star is going to give you um, um, uh, more voltage um, it's less flexible, though, when you set the alternator up, you're kind of stuck with it. So I like to make um, my choice out here, depending on what I want to do with it. I can just connect all three of these together easily on the outside. If you don't connect in star, basically you're going to have less um, resistance. You're going to create less voltage. But what you can do then is create a voltage tripler, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so, so I showed you how you're going to get DC out of a rectifier. Um, what you can do is think of each rectifier as a battery. I'm going to simplify this. I'm just going to we're just going to get it back down to we're going to go back down to a single rectifier up here. Okay, so the output is going to be some voltage. We'll call it uh, one and a half. Um, and we're going to block DC volts from going back down with our capacitor. And we're going to smooth the voltage so that we don't get a ripple. So let's say we got one and a half volts coming out. Okay, think of it as a battery. Okay, now what can we do with that? If you've got three phases, you're going to have three systems like this. Now we can link these up in series because we're going to have basically three three rectifiers coming off the three phases so now we can go from one and a half output we can get four and a half that's a voltage tripler okay so basically think of the outputs here and here as a battery whatever your wind turbine or your hydro system or your steam engine is driving this alternator um, however hard it does, it's going to create some voltage. So it might be 10 volts or it might be 15 volts out of here. Now, if you if you don't want to do a voltage tripler, you can put them in parallel. And basically, it'll give you more amperage, but at a lower voltage. So let's say this is still creating uh, 1.5 volts. Put them in series. So we're going to come off with our positives and our negatives here. And we're going to have 1.5 volts coming off but at a much higher amperage. Um, same watts coming out, just different voltage. So let's say you want to charge a 12 volt battery bank. You may, you may want to use a system like this where you're coming off in parallel. If you're trying to charge a 24 volt bank, 
you may want to go series. So that's how that works.